You need to cover the $3,000 bill your daughter owes me. Who is this? This is Mr. Johnson, the owner of the steakhouse in town. Your daughter works for me. How did you get my number? She listed you as her emergency contact, and since I haven't been able to get hold of her for a week, I contacted you. Obviously, this is a huge emergency. Mr. Johnson, I know Lauren works there part-time, but what I don't understand is why she owes you that kind of money. What is it for? Can you explain it to me? Listen, lady, I, I don't have time for your games. You better pay up the $3,000 your daughter owes me. What? Huh? Ask your daughter the details. I don't have time for this. You have two weeks, or else. Mom, I'm in a study group in the library. Can't take your call right now. Well, at least explain to me why Mr. Johnson from the steakhouse is threatening to call the police. He says you owe him $3,000. Oh, that. So you know about this? What's this all about? Yes, Mom. I'm aware of the issue. Care to explain? I'm really confused and quite worried, frankly. $3,000 is a lot of money. Are you in some kind of trouble? There's a reasonable explanation for this, I promise. I really can't go into this right now, Mom. It's really important that you talk to me, sweetie. I need to know what's going on. Please, Mom, stop treating me like a kid. I'll handle this on my own. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Talk later, okay? Okay, Lauren. I trust you'll handle this in the right way. I will, Mom. Bye. Love you. Bye, sweetie. It's been a week, and your daughter is still not taking my calls. Nor has she shown up with the money. Hello, Mr. Johnson. I talked to my daughter, and she said she would take care of this. Clearly, she hasn't. You have one week left to pay me the $3,000 she owes me, or I'll call the cops. Please, sir, I don't know what this is about. Can you explain? If you must know, she owes me $3,000 for a grill. As I said, I don't have time for chit-chat. You have one week left to make the payment. Mr. Johnson, wait. Lauren, this is getting out of hand. Hi, Mom. What's wrong? Mr. Johnson contacted me again. He is still going on about the 3000 that you owe him. For a grill? What happened? I don't know, Mom. I thought everything was fine when I worked there. But it's so weird. Mr. Johnson just started saying one day that I had damaged the grill and now I have to pay for the repairs. Oh, sweetie, why didn't you come to me sooner? Ever since I moved to campus, I wanted to show you I could take care of myself. But I didn't think it would come to this. It's okay, sweetie. I'll find out what's going on. You focus on your studies. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Good day, Mr. Johnson. This is Cassandra, Lauren's mom. I need to discuss this $3,000 claim. Oh yes, Mrs. Cassandra, your daughter damaged our grill, and it needs repair. Can you show me proof of the damage and repair? Well, I don't have that right now, but it's crucial your daughter pays for it uh, immediately. My daughter isn't the reckless type. There has to be a misunderstanding. Look, lady, the damage is there. The grill's a mess after your daughter used it. It's clear as day. Can we at least check the grill together and see the damage? No need. My repairman already quoted for fixing it. Your daughter used it last. She's gotta own up to it. How can we resolve this without any evidence? It's unfair to just assume that Lauren did it. Company rules. Your daughter used it. Now it needs fixing. She needs to step up. We're willing to work this out, but we need more than just blaming. Surely you don't just expect me to pay such a large sum of money. I get your worries, but the grill needs fixing, and your daughter was the last to mess with it. That's how it is. And besides, $3,000 isn't that much for someone like you. Accusations need proof, Mr. Johnson. Someone like me? What do you mean? I'm sorry you feel that way, but the bill needs settling. One way or another. You can do this the easy way, or the hard way. I've been more than willing to discuss things in a civil manner. But I had just about enough of your threats. You haven't seen anything yet, lady. What? Mom, what's happening? A cop just showed up at my dorm room. What? Mom, I'm really scared. Am I going to jail? No, sweetie, you're not. 
Mr. Johnson's claiming the grill damage without any evidence. The cop had a badge, a gun, and everything. He said we needed to pay the $3,000 ASAP. If we don't, Mr. Johnson will file a formal complaint and I will be arrested. That no good son of a... He can't do that. Who does he think he is? But I never damaged anything there, Mom. I believe you, sweetie. Stay calm. We'll sort this out. Mom, I remember a night when the grill malfunctioned. I told Mr. Johnson about it. I can ask the other employees. Maybe someone remembers what happened. I hope we can clear this up. That's an important detail. Let's gather all your work records. I'm really scared. What if I go to jail? My scholarship will be ruined. Don't say things like that, sweetie. You talk to your ex-co-workers and find out anything that could help us, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. Love you. Tom, I don't know what to do. Mr. Johnson keeps threatening us about this $3,000 grill issue with Lauren. Let's not panic. We need to strategize. Well, what exactly did Lauren say about the grill? She mentioned a malfunction one night, but Mr. Johnson claims she damaged it. Is there any proof of the damage we'll repair? No. He hasn't shown any. Just keeps insisting she's responsible. We can't let baseless accusations harm her. We need evidence that supports her side. Any former colleagues we can talk to? I believe so, yes. Lauren mentioned she talked to some of them. Let's reach out to them, see if they recall anything about that night. Also, any records or receipts related to grill repairs? I'll see what I can find. But what if Mr. Johnson refuses to cooperate? We stay persistent. We must be calm and collected, Cassandra. We'll arrange another talk with Lauren. Maybe she remembers more details? I just wish I could fix this for her. We'll figure this out together. Let's gather all the facts and build a strong case. We owe it to her to fight this. You're right. I won't let them bully us without proof. Thank you, honey. Always, love. We'll support Lauren through this every step of the way. Hey, Alex. Remember that night when the grill acted up? Hey, Lauren. And where have you been? Mr. Johnson is pissed. He's been looking for you for weeks. Are you coming back to work anytime soon? I'm not sure, but I think he's already fired me. He's also claiming I damaged the grill and now I owe him $3,000 in repairs. What? He must be on something because that's ridiculous. Where would a part-time cook get that kind of cash? Is he even aware what he's paying us? Tell me about it, right? He's also been threatening to call the cops if me or my mom don't pay it. Oh, jeez. How I know for sure he's delusional or something? Something's really off. I just know it. Do you remember anything that can help me get out of this mess? Yeah, I do. You burned the hairs on your arm one night because of that stupid grill. There was a huge flame, but we still had a good laugh about it. Oh, yeah. I remember. But do you know what happened afterwards? Did Mr. Johnson fix the issue? I think you told Mr. Johnson about it right away. We didn't use the grill anymore after that night. I, I think I filmed the entire thing because Mr. Johnson was shouting like a madman to get the fire extinguisher. I think I still have the video because it was hilarious. That's crucial information. Thank you so much, Alex. Can you send it to me? Of course, sending it now. Anytime, Lauren. I hope it works out. Mom, you'll never guess what I just received. Sending it to you now. Oh, wow. This is great. I'll handle this, sweetie. Thanks, Mom. Mr. Johnson, we gotta talk about this grill thing. What about it? I've already said what I needed to say. Pay up or I call the cops. Why don't you understand? You're really starting to get on my nerves, lady. Likewise. But unlike you, I've got proof that doesn't match up with your story about the grill. What proof are you talking about? The only proof I need is that broken grill. Not quite. Here's a video that shows you panicking and Lauren explaining the grill trouble. This video clearly shows what really happened. Lauren reported the problem immediately to you and the grill wasn't used after that. I might have misunderstood things. I also talked to other workers. They all back up Lauren's story. I, I didn't mean for it to get this bad. It's just company rules. First, you falsely accused my daughter, and then you put her in serious trouble with the police. 
threatened her and me with arrest if we didn't pay the ridiculous $3,000 bill? In without proof? I'll report this. Uh, hold on, maybe we can fix this without involving anyone else. Oh, now you're worried and realizing you messed up big time. Lauren's just a student, you know. Let's work something out. You can tell Lauren she can come back to work. Uh, we're good. I'm not done with this. You messed with the wrong mom. Hi, Mr. Wong. I hope everything is well with the healing process of the root canal. Everything is going great, Cassandra. Thanks for taking my appointment on such short notice this afternoon. Always a pleasure to have you. Can I ask you something? Anything. What can I do for you? I heard you work for the steakhouse in town. My daughter used to work there part-time. Interesting place, isn't it? Oh yes, it's quite a bustling spot. I handle the books there. Uh, how's your daughter doing? She's well, thank you. But something curious crossed my mind. There was a bit of a fuss about a malfunctioning grill a while back. Heard it caused quite a stir. Ah yes, that incident. It was a peculiar night. The grill acted up, but oddly enough, it was replaced the very next day. Insurance covered the cost, fortunately. Insurance, you say? That's interesting. I'm assuming this information is kept well within the steakhouse records, right? Oh, absolutely confidential, you understand. But yes, it's part of our records. The replacement was swift, a rather expensive piece of equipment, that grill. Of course, I completely understand. Can't imagine how much a restaurant grill would cost. But you know how it is. Curious minds tend to wander. It's fascinating how these things work out sometimes, isn't it? I have to ask you one huge favor. It's really important. Can we speak in person? Sure thing. Anything for my best dentist. I'll drop by tomorrow since I'll be in town. That's perfect. See you tomorrow. Mr. Johnson, it seems there's more to this grill situation than meets the eye. You again? I thought we'd settle this. We're good, right? Lauren can come back to work like normal. No hard feelings. I've dug deeper into this. Turns out the grill wasn't even broken that night. I'm not sure what you're implying. Here are the detailed reports and receipts I gathered. The grill was replaced the day after that supposed incident and the bill for it was covered by your insurance. What? How did you get this information? This is confidential, and there could have been other damages. I told you I spoke with your employees. It just so happens that your bookkeeper is one of my patients at the dental clinic. Let's just say we got to talking. How dare you? Who do you think you are snooping around in my private matters? Since you could not present either proof of damage or repair, I needed to take matters into my own hands. I also spoke with the repairman. There were no additional repairs or damages to that grill after its replacement. Maybe there's a, a mistake in the records. The records are clear, Mr. Johnson. Someone here is lying, and it's not my daughter. Let's not jump to conclusions. There must be a way to settle this without any trouble. I'll be taking this up with higher authorities. You've put my daughter through enough. Please, I beg you. The steakhouse is all I got. I'm really sorry about the misunderstanding. Can we move past this? Good day, Mr. Johnson, and good luck. Lauren, you won't believe what just happened. What's going on, Alex? You remember that mess with Mr. Johnson and the grill? Well, it turns out he got arrested. What? How? Remember when you thought he was acting all weird and making crazy accusations? Turns out, he'd been pulling the stunt with other employees, too. He was doing this to others, too? Yep, I bumped into another girl who used to work there. She said Mr. Johnson tried to shake her down for some made-up damage to the kitchen equipment. This is insane. How many people has he been harassing? I heard it's a pattern. He's been targeting students whose families have money, trying to scare them into paying for things they didn't do. The authorities found out about his shady games. Seems like he was trying to squeeze money out of your family, too. I can't believe it. I thought I was the only one dealing with his craziness. He's a con artist. And get this, they found out that he had a guy working the scam on the inside. Turns out, the guy works as a janitor at the campus. Somehow that dude got a hold of student records and was able to find out everything about their families. 
There were also traces of some sketchy records on illegal sports betting. He's in big trouble now. I'm just glad it's over. Thanks for telling me, Alex. This is such a relief. No problem. I knew something was up with that guy. I'm just happy to see justice served. Yeah, me too. Talk soon. Mom, great news. Mr. Johnson got arrested. Oh, really? Wow. Now that's justice served. It seems like his actions with other people finally caught up with him. Turns out he was trying to extort money from other employees and students too. Kids that come from wealthy families. Extorting money? That's troubling. I'm relieved that we took action when we did. I'm glad you did something about it. It's such a relief that it's resolved now. Have they caught everyone involved in this scheme? They found out there was someone else aiding him. Someone from the campus. Manipulating student records and involved in illegal activities like sports betting. That's disturbing. I hope the authorities are handling it thoroughly. Yeah. It seems like they're in serious trouble now. I'm just grateful this is finally over. It was necessary to bring this to light. If you need to talk more about this, I'm here for you. Thanks, Mom. It's just shocking. I understand. Take your time, and if you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. I'm always here for you, sweetie. You're the best. Love you. Love you too, sweetie. The whole saga with Mr. Johnson and the supposed grill damage felt like a never-ending nightmare. At first, his accusation of owing $3,000 left me utterly bewildered. My mom's tireless efforts to unravel the truth and clear my name became a source of immense relief. Discovering that Mr. Johnson had been targeting others with his deceitful tactics was both shocking and validating. It wasn't just me. He's been trying to extort money from other employees and students too. Knowing that my mom stood by me, tirelessly seeking the truth and justice, gave me strength throughout this distressing time. The turning point was the discovery of the video capturing the incident. That evidence, along with my coworkers backing up my story, turned the tables on Mr. Johnson's deceit. His arrest brought a sense of closure, not just for me, but for everyone ensnared in his schemes. Seeing my mom's unwavering support and determination in the face of such adversity was heartening. It reinforced the bond we share, and I'm grateful for her relentless pursuit of justice. Though the ordeal was trying, the resolution has brought immense relief. I'm thankful it's over, and deeply appreciative of my mom's unyielding support and dedication to uncovering the truth. Her unwavering faith in me meant everything, and I couldn't have navigated this without her by my side.